All right. So you can tell by my hair and the grayness that I'm not only older, but we are also stuck. Oh, this is near the end of May of 2020, and we've all been quarantined for a while, and my hair is starting to show it. So I thought we get started with some different, with a different book. I have not done much. I've not been doing as much playing lately. I've been doing a lot of other stuff. And uh, we will get started with number one in the book, Essential Technique, which is a technique book that uh, I've taught with over the years. It's like the third book of the original Essential Elements before they made Essential Elements 2000. And it's really a nice book in terms of getting your slide moving, different songs, different scales, different techniques, um, and just a nice all around book for uh, players who are starting to get a little further along in their career. Before anyone says anything, I know I should not drink coffee while playing. But that's something I learned in college, coffee good. Oh, let's see. We're going a little on the slower side. I'm going to do that one again because I did not like the shortness I put into my eighth notes in the third bar. <laughs> first more smoother. I'm going to do that line again and clean that part up. Uh, not quite as clean as I would like. switch over to number two now. This is our exercise in thirds. So we're still in the key of B flat. B's and E's are being flat. A's are natural. Uh, the A natural thing can often be tricky. Get that good second position. One and two and three and four and Thinking eighth notes. One and two and three and four. And that will help you as you go through this to lock in your timing. And I'm going to smooth those out a little bit. And also, let's slow it down a little bit. One and two, and that's a for this one. A 
although you can be insane with it too. I'm going to take it up to 110. So just as you're playing through these, play around with different speeds, play around uh, with different styles and that kind of setup. And let's see what we have next, arpeggio study. So I'm going to do this at two speeds. We're going to start off at 70. One and two and three and <laughs> And let's do that again so that my D in the third bar isn't so anemic. Two and three and <laughs> All right, and I'm thinking one twenty two. Uh, one twenty. Stars and Stripes Forever tempo here. <laughs> One and two and three. <laughs> speed, slower speed, kind of at the andante level. And our goal here is to make these two parts line up. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit, I'm going to play both parts separately. And then later in the video, I'll take the B part and A part and line them up. So we'll have two parts floating through that. It's been a while since I've done editing, so we'll see how well that works. And again, last note, running out of air. Moving on to part B. Scale. 
Mathematics are important because it's all the notes we need to know. So we have our B flat to B natural, C to C sharp, and then on the way down, we have our D flat, same position, same note as the C sharp. So technically, when you get into courting situations, it's not the same based on how you tune it. B natural is shown as B natural in the book instead of as a C flat. Uh, technically, you would want to write that C as a C flat instead of a B natural, the second the last note. But I understand why the, uh, when they were working on this book, why they didn't do that, because that's still a new kind of idea. We'll go up moderato tempo here. Actually, no. Go at 90. One and two and three and four and one and two and three, four and. We'll do 90 first and then I'll do it slower. So if you want to play along, you can lock into the pitches a little more. One beat per one beat per second. We'll go at sixty on this. Three and four. So the, the biggest complaint I've had as doing these videos is the speed and ironically taught for a number of years, then I was out of it for a while. And being out of it for a while and doing more playing, I started thinking about the, doing the playing and that, and then I got back into teaching and then I'm like, whoa, yeah, my videos, a lot of them for the younger kids are just too fast. Uh, so I'm trying to do some multiple speeds here in Balance Builder, however, we will just have one speed and I will do no fermatas for the timing purposes of locking these three parts into one. And we'll have no fermatas until the end and hopefully I will make them all the same length for the very last fermata. But I'm gonna leave out the fermatas in the first four measures and we'll test our tuning since I am not doing this uh, using a multi-tracking program. So that could be interesting. All right, and we'll start, we'll, we'll just do, actually I'll do C, B, A. Lock in, lock in my lower pitches first. Keep the same speed as before. One, two, three. Uh... Start it. Let's check with the tuner. Tuner is saying you've gotten really sharp. All right, here we go. Back to the book number six. Two and three and. Part B. Okay, that was part B with the wrong note. And starting part B again. Here 
here's part A. <laughs> Part B. Okay, that was part B with the wrong note. And starting part B again. next and I'm just going to oh, no. let's see probably probably about 3 hours of lessons listening and playing and listening and playing um so we'll see how, how long this goes on. I've been doing a lot more high notes because I've been doing some trumpet lessons on my trombone, which I know the trumpet players who log into my channel are going to be going, dude, do it on trumpet. But trombone is what I have most available for me here at my house. And uh, here we go with corral. I'm going to make some tempo adjustments here. Here we go. One and two and three. <laughs> Gate of Kiev. Very famous song. If it's one you've heard before, um, you know, that's awesome. If it's one you're not familiar with, 
that that would also not be a huge surprise. Um, but it is very, it's one of those classical tunes that you hear about all the time. Um, so there are many multiple recordings of it. One of the best, I think, is New York Philharmonic. Uh, they have an amazing, there's one there, it says moderato, so I will make, take it about 90. Da, 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 no, that's actually, Da 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 da. Eighty works better. More in line with the original. <laughs> okay, I need to bring those accents out more. <laughs> to my desk for my C's to be where I need them to be, so I needed to back up a little bit. And moving on to children's shoes. <laughs> So I'm going to do this one twice. And the first time I'm going to go at the slower speed, uh, just so you can hear the timing and lock that in. And then I'm going to do it um, at about 96 or so, because that's a good way to kind of feel the timing. So here's a little slower. <laughs> Right. 
and Allegro. Go a little slower for our first time through it. One, two, three. <laughs> So fix some of the dynamic things. Not a commercial for super slick, but I highly recommend it. Also recommend starting on the right note. Playing the same one again. Two and three. <laughs> Oh, right. 
So I'm kind of taking you through kind of my process of working on these. Um, this is a book I have used in the past, but I have not looked at it for quite a few years. So this is just kind of testing my reading. And finding that helps too. And rhythm wrap, we can pass on. So what we're doing here is we're, actually let's not pass on it. We're doing the one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and three, one, two, three, one, two, and three, and one, two, three, and introducing us into three eight. So now there are three eighth notes per measure instead of three quarter notes. So when we get to waltz petite, uh, we're working through different type of counting than we may have seen before. And uh, so now, as I look at this, I have the three eight one two three one two three one two three one. But you guys aren't here to listen to me sing. So here we go, waltz petite. And right. one, two, three, no, one, two, three. Ten. So this is kind of my process for going through these. I have a, an idea of how fast I want it to go, but I'm also trying to do some slower speeds just so that you can hear the pitches a little more clearly. I'm likely to redo some of my earlier videos, uh, like pages, the early pages of the early books, um, just to give the, the younger players a chance to really lock those in. But here's 14. This is, um, oh, like an allegretto tempo. <laughs> Oop, let's try that again with the right notes. <laughs> Good middle, eh. one, two, three, one. All right, I'm going to just keep on going because I'm kind of curious to, I can feel that my embouchure. It's starting to wear out just a little bit. All right. And here's another one. Um, we're going to go slow the first time. We're still locking in that three feel. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. Okay, let's start that again. This is take two. One, two, three, one. 
to move on to Sunday at nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And on Dante. Okay, that feels a little faster than I was feeling it. I'll bring it down a little bit. All right, take two. So if ever you see edits in my video, this is where I would go through, play parts of it, practice, cut those out, try again. But for today, since we're doing some a pandemic, pandemic type video, I want to just go through the whole process of how I go through some of these. Okay, so I'm dragging. Stopped at a store yesterday looking for clippers and there were none. So I'm going to do my own haircut unless something else opens up soon, which where I'm at, things are starting to open up, but I believe the hair places will not be. All right, upper octave first. Two and three and Ooh, try that again. Ooh. 
move on to our harmonic minor, the minor I prefer. So in harmonic minor, you take your natural minor scale, you raise the seventh tone, which in this case would give us an F sharp to give us that leading tone. But also, if you've studied music theory, it gives us major five chords, which gives us stronger endings. Uh, when we have our cadences. Same tempo. and I'm sure we're starting to get to a point where we're losing it, but it feels like they're coming back. So well, it's like the old days of playing where you would play for a while, start to weaken out, and then suddenly you'd get like that second wind going again. That's a moderato. Let's take this at about 100. One, two, one, two. One and two and this a couple times because some practicing is needed here just to lock in the lightness of it shorter tonguing tip of the tongue one two and position for that D at seven and let's try for real again. <laughs> Need to be studying some of those jazz lip slur people with the 
And I feel that I'm slowing down. So as I was saying, my embouchure was working better. I think my dexterity is losing it a little bit after this amount of time playing. Here we go. I'm going to bring that down to 96. Yeah, that's outlining a D minor chord there, not a, uh, now I did D to B flat. All right, last time. Every band director who whoever said that was lying. All right. Now, if you've never played this before, the slower speed might be more where you need it to be, just to lock it in. Two and one and two and. And I noticed I was wanting to rush as I went through that. So you want to make sure you're keeping that tempo nice and even. And uh, let's move on. And a lot of these songs, I have not used this book for years. So a lot of these songs are less familiar to me than uh, the early songs early in the beginning books. All right, here we go. Two, three, four, five. <laughs> Six there. Let's try that again. And moving on here. All right, essential elements quiz. So the first thing I notice is my key signature. So I'm in the key that has two flats, but I'm not in B flat major. I am actually in G minor. I know this because the last note of the song, not only is it G, but we have F sharps that we're dealing with. And second thing I notice is we're in 3-8. So we're counting to three in every measure. Beyond that, I see um, some slurs here and there, mezzo forte, crescendoing forte in the second measure. And 
It should be relatively quick, but I'm going to take it on the slow side first. One, two, three, one. <laughs> I have a feeling I've played this scale earlier today when I was doing some lessons. And thankfully, this E flat scale is as is not the broken octave one you see in some books. And that broken octave thing is good for younger players who aren't quite up. Up in that range. Um, just the strength needed to get up there, um, which would be like end of book one, middle of book two. Um, we always push for the full octave. And let's go with moderato. Let's do this one. We'll go slow and then I'll pick up the pace. Breathe in and exhale in one motion. <laughs> some missing the arpeggio just didn't quite work so I thought let's redo the whole thing so you can see when we get to this part of the book they're taking these songs and saying okay we did a lot in B flat also G minor now we're going to be doing E flat exercises which is also the same key, key signature as C minor and so let's take this exercise in thirds, and let's do it at about 70, and then I'll do it again and uh, increase our tempo. <laughs> Uh, let's 
went for a a natural at the end of the beginning of the last measure. I've been stuck in that key for quite a while. So switching it around is a good thing. Now let's take about 130. It's a good tempo. Feel I'm making my notes more staccato than they should be, so I'm going to practice, go through it again. see when I actually listen to it. Oh, and another two-part etude. All right. We'll do 96 for this. And I'm thinking this two part one where I'm going to have to do a fair amount of editing may be our last one that I'm going to do for this one. If you get super slick to sponsor us. Part B first. Two. Uh. of editing would normally make this disappear but during this pandemic video I'm actually taking you through my process which involves coffee <laughs> can here specifically for that because that popping can get annoying. Which involves coffee. <laughs> 